Chromebooks are designed to be simple devices. They're designed to be simple to start up and use and simple to navigate. One of the main ways you navigate them though is with the trackpad and Google's done a great job over the years of building in all sorts of gestures to help you move through the OS. And just because it's a simple device, it doesn't mean that there's no learning curve whatsoever. So we wanted to put together a quick guide that kind of encompasses all the gestures that you can use on a Chromebook trackpad. Today's video is brought to you by NordVPN. They're the VPN of choice for millions of consumers because they're awesome at what they do, and that is keep your browsing safe and secure, whether you're at home or on the go. If you'd like to learn more about them and their services, head over to chromeunbox.com forward slash NordVPN, and you can learn more and get started today. Okay, so let's dive into some of these gestures, but before we do that, we do need to talk about a couple settings that will help you interpret all the things I'm going to say and show you. So if you go under your device in your settings menu and we go into touchpad, there's tap to click, tap to drag, and then there's reverse scrolling. Tap to click and tap to drag are things I leave off. I prefer to just click the trackpad, but a lot of people would rather just tap it. And that just allows a, a, a brief tap to register a click. For the sake of this video, I'm going to turn that on. I'm also going to turn on tap dragging so we can kind of see how those things work here in just a second. And then reverse scrolling, I tend to like to leave that turned on because ultimately whenever you're scrolling stuff, I would rather, just like if I was going to reach up and touch the touch screen, I would, I would slide my hand from low to high in order to move down the screen because it's kind of like paper or anything else. I'm going to move it that way. Well, I want to do the same thing with my trackpad. So I, if I'm going to go down the screen, I kind of would prefer the content to move along with my fingers. Not everybody likes that. So you can make that difference uh, in the settings right there and switch it to your liking. So let's begin with single finger gestures. And you can't even really call these gestures. I guess they kind of are. I mean, you're moving on the, on the trackpad. But you know, everybody kind of knows that you move your finger around the trackpad, the mouse cursor moves around on the screen. So that's, that's your main single finger function here. But you can also select things. And just as I said, with either a tap, if you have it turned on or a click, you can actually select what things you would like to open or move around the screen. So if I drag this down, if I double tap, we turn that on, double tap to drag. When I tap tap, I can now drag this around and then let go. And again, I turn this off because every once in a while you kind of miss on that and stuff moves and you don't really want it to. But again, single finger, those are basically what you have working here. You have grab and move things around. You can select things and you can move your mouse around. Two finger gestures are where we start getting into some pretty interesting stuff. So let's single click again here and open up some content. We'll go to Chrome Unboxed. And if I want to scroll down the page, instead of you know a mouse wheel or holding any other buttons, just enable two fingers on the trackpad and immediately you can scroll up and down the page to your heart's content. Additionally with this, with a pinch in and out, you can zoom in and out on the content just like you would on a phone or a tablet. And a lot of people are used to this. Additionally, those two fingers, not just up and down, can move in other directions around the screen as well. So if you're in a document that has some left to right uh, that you need to navigate, you can do that with just two fingers this way. If you need to go up and down the document, up and down this way, and then you can also pinch and zoom to your heart's content around the same content. Additionally, adding in that second finger when you go to click or tap brings up your context menu. And the context menu is what most of us think of as our right click menu. If you grew up using Windows, you know that you can right click on all kinds of stuff and get all kinds of context menus. Well, it's similar to like a long press on Android or a long press in iOS or a right click on Windows. There's other functionality hiding behind the context menus. And to pull that up, a two finger tap or a two finger click will bring up that extra context menu, depending whether you're in Chrome or all sorts of different apps, Android apps and all that stuff. Everybody programs different stuff in for that two finger click. And again, you can do it with a click or a tap. Okay, so let's move on to three fingers. And when we move to three finger gestures, we're getting into more OS type navigation. And some of this stuff is very unique to Chrome OS. And the first one we've talked about before on both YouTube and on our website is the three finger gesture to scrub tabs. So if I open up multiple tabs up here on the top and I'll get into some different content on each one, just so you can kind of see 
what we're doing, Google search, cool, um, and we'll just do another Chrome Unboxed. Okay, so I have four different tabs. Instead of going here, single clicking on the tab, single clicking on the tab, single clicking on the tab, with a three finger swipe, I can actually move through those open tabs. And so as I need to get between one tab and the next, I use this constantly uh, when I'm adding stuff from multiple pages. It allows me to just swipe over, swipe back, swipe over, copy, swipe back, click something. Uh, it's a very, very handy gesture for productivity. Next up, and probably just as productive, if not more, is the three finger swipe up. Now it doesn't matter how you have your uh, scrolling, whether it's turned into reverse or standard, this is always now, they've made this a three swipe three finger swipe upward to get to the overview mode. Now there is a key on your keyboard that does this as well. Uh, if you're like me, you're almost always going to swipe three fingers up to get to this. So three finger swipe up and you're in overview mode. And I'm going to show you, I'm going to break these out as separate windows here, uh, just so you kind of get a little bit more of a feel for what that looks like in case you've not used this. There we go. So now I've got three separate windows, overview mode, boom, I see all of my windows open and I can click into any of them at this point. And as we've talked about in the mastering split screen from this mode, you can then drag stuff to either side and kind of do split screen modes. Uh, that's not really a gesture on the trackpad, it's just a nice cool feature of the overview mode. And then one final trick I want to show you with a three finger uh, click. Uh, a lot of people don't really think about clicking anything with the three fingers. This actually takes the place of if you had a mouse scroll wheel and you click down on that mouse scroll wheel. So if there's any gestures that you're used to using with that, this is the only one I can think of, but uh, this is a handy, uh, effective little tool here. This allows you to close tabs down without having to hunt for the little X here. So I just have to get my mouse cursor over this tab anywhere, three finger click, and boom, that tab's gone. And so it's nice if you're trying to just knock out some tabs, just getting in the in the habit of three finger clicking to kill those tabs. It's just a whole lot easier than hunting down that little bitty X and making sure and clicking on it. And finally, we come to four finger gestures. Again, the more fingers you add into these gestures, almost the more complex things get here. So when we talk about four finger gestures, there's a couple things that you can do. So I'm gonna go back into this overview mode. Again, three fingers swiping upward. I'm gonna add a new desk. And so desks help you get productive by putting stuff on multiple entire desktops. And the reason this is productive is you can kind of set this desktop up to look one way and then another desktop up to look another way. Well, it's nice to be able to get between these desktops pretty quickly. And again, there are keyboard shortcuts or you could swipe up and single finger click to get to that desk. And those are fine, but when you're really trying to be productive and move through things, it's nice to be able to almost feel like you're just turning and looking at that next monitor that's next to you. And for that, a four finger swipe in either direction gets you to that next adjacent desk. One swipe, boom, we're there. One swipe, boom, we're there. One swipe, boom, we're there. And it's just a nice, trick to have up your sleeve if you like using virtual desks. Instead of going up and clicking through each one to be able to four finger swipe, boom, between desks, it's just a really, really handy tool to have. All right, guys, so that's basically it. There are gonna be more gestures that show up and there's gonna be stuff that changes and, and things that may move around a little bit and they may add a swipe here, a swipe there. But in general, when you're talking about navigating the OS as a whole, these gestures are the ones that you're gonna use most and the ones that are gonna help you be most effective on a Chromebook. And we generally hope that this helps you out and helps you to be more productive and just helps you enjoy your Chromebook a little bit more. But that's it for this one. If you enjoyed it, give us a thumbs up, go down there and hit the subscribe button and make sure and hit the notification icon if you'd like to be alerted when we make future videos just like this one. Until next time, we'll see you.